uh, this trade-off between uh, you know efficiency and battery life. How, how are we moving forward? How are we going beyond smart connect? Well, as you know, Intel Lab has you no know, deep expertise in energy efficiency, right, from the you know, transistor circuit level all the way up to the system level. Mm -hmm. The Intel Smart Connect technology we mentioned earlier is a good example of that, which we helped you know, develop you know, a couple years back. Right. And now we are expanding our research to not only support standby, but also you know, active device use cases. Okay. So. You know, so what is it that's that's going on that, that we really need to address? Well, you know, as you know, that we are seeing more and more uh, internet-driven, cloud-based uh, use cases. However, internet traffic tend to be you know, erratic, right? right. And it's hard to manage, and which lead to all kind of you know, inefficiencies. Mm -hmm. And and we we would like to tackle that problem. Yeah. Okay, so. Um, so can you give me a, an example? Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, actually, we're gonna you know, like to show you a couple of examples for our new technology code, code name of Spring Metal. Maybe the best way to explain the technology to show you the demo. Okay. You want to take a look? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, there are two cases. So the first, the first one is for idle, right? Where a user kind of you know sit in front of a, an author book, you know, reading you know, idea press articles. Okay. Right? In that scenario, I guess you no, know, is the system is relatively idle, right? So because user is not really doing anything. However, even in that even in that case, there's a tons of you know background traffic which keep you know bombarding your system in order to maintain network connectivity to support system uh, certain discovery and so on, mm -hmm. right? So as you can see on the on the left screen, right, right. every time a new pack arrives, you know, and hit the hit the system, it basically will light up the whole house. Right. 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 Platform and, powers up. Yeah, and sometimes take a take some time to turn off the lights. <laughs> so obviously you're gonna you know, consume a little bit of energy here. Mm -hmm. And on the right hand side, you know, with our spring metal technology, mm -hmm. right, and we actually analyze the traffic, right, in order to identify the most important packet. And you're analyzing it out of the NIC, not we actually, the yeah, we are analyzing that in the, in the NIC, okay. and we we can remove all the unnecessary ones which are either not destined to me or can be deferred for you know, uh, later processing, for example. By doing that, as you can see in the middle, right, we can dramatically reduce the platform activities, hence you know, save, save a lot of you know, CPU power. And you mentioned the second example. Yes, let me show you the second one. Okay. Let me get started. There we go. So the second one is for, uh, for active, right, where a user accessing content in the cloud by downloading, streaming, audio, video, image, or any other type of traffic, right? So, uh, so in that case, our spin metal technology is actually proactively managing the network flow in order to minimize the interruption to the CPU. Right. So, I mean, give me a sense of how much power the spring metal technology. Okay, so let me let me show you. So, first of all, as you can see, you no, know, you no, know, we can download the same set of files in the same amount of time. So basically, there's no impact on the performance, as you can see from from both yeah, sides. Yeah, they look right in sync to me. And in terms of a very good question about how much power we can save, as you can see from the middle screen, actually we can save about half of the CPU power. Wow, half of the yes. CPU power? Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. That is amazing. So, um, you know, it's clear this has obvious benefits for, um, for Ultrabooks, but it might even be more beneficial in, uh, in phones and tablets where you don't have as much battery. Absolutely, you are totally right. Yes, yeah. Those devices can have smaller battery, hence this technology will be even more crucial for that kind of devices. Okay, so, um, you know, with, with all this technology and all these advancements, and, you know, how soon do you think we're gonna, you know, we're gonna see this in, uh, in the market? Well, it's you no know, still a prototype, but it's getting better every day. So, you no, know, stay tuned. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll wait. Hey, thanks for showing it to us. Thank you, Charlie. Time to spring the meadows. Down. I want that. I need that. Very important technology.